Barney, $2.05. He's got a lot of fight in him this weekend as well. I think we're going to see a high check out from both of them. But who's the highest? You can choose in that market right there. It is time to get busy. It's semi-final number one at the New Zealand Dance Masters. Thank you ladies and gentlemen, it's semi-finals action at the New Zealand Dance Masters presented by Burger King and TAB and coming to you from the incredible city of Hamilton! Time to welcome back the players in his final year as a professional from Dunhaag in the Netherlands, the five-time champion the world Raymond and England, the winner of the World Series Finals and the winner of nine televised events, ladies and gentlemen, he's simply known as the Machine, James Semi-final number one here at the New Zealand Darts Masters 2019 features James Wade up against Raymond Van Barneveld. This is the 53rd meeting between the two. And currently it's Van Barneveld that has a 25-23 advantage in the head-to-head. -head. So it's very close. Four draws in there as well. James Wade comes into this with wins over Craig Cordwell, 6-5 in round number one. He looked at accomplished in beating the top seed Peter Wright in the quarterfinals. Van Barneveld, well, he beat Cody Harris 6-5 in round one and then took out Daryl Gurney in a close match, 8-6 in the quarterfinals. Last meeting between these two, Premier League back in February, that was won by James Wade, 7-4. So these two have a very rich history, don't they, Rod? A very rich history, and uh, hopefully we're going to get another classic battle here. Yes, I think we will. Uh, they've been around a long time, both the players. Totally different games, to be quite honest. You've got James Wade, who is the... You know, we keep using the phrase solid, which he is. He doesn't tend to make too many mistakes. Where you've got Barney, you know, you'll see him score ever so well in a game and then miss a few darts at a double. So it's going to be interesting. But the one thing Barney can't do, which Peter Wright did, He's let this man, James Wade, get off to a, a quick lead. He needs to stay with him. He needs to get focused straight away. 
And to be quite honest, Glenn, the way Barney's playing, you know, he seems happy, he seems comfortable, and uh, he's showing in his game, he's showing in his action, as you can see the smoothness of that action. Wade makes a fast start. Early 180 in the semi. Race to 15, or the race to eight, rather, best of 15. out yeah I'm surprised he didn't switch then down the bottom I know they're always looking at combinations to leave you know check out but as I said before in the previous match sometimes just find the big treble it doesn't matter where it is but Barney didn't hurt him over it so Wade still with the advantage Three dark combination instead of a two dark combination hitting hit, hit that big one. One run out, 35. Well, about has the two dark combination. Ninety-nine. Well, there's two ways to go in here, Glenn. You can go 25, 17 bull, or straight at the treble 20. That's the aggressive route, which is gone. He went for double double, but uh, that's the only problem if you're going to go for the treble. If you don't hit the treble, obviously, you don't get a chance of a checkout. Go on the 25 route, you do. Game shot, Wade holds. Firstly, Wade wanted a good appearance here in Hamilton after. Some pretty average performances in Australia. Van Barneveld. With his first 180, 57 with 13 to go. Oh, so close to 12. BK70 180's Whopper of a deal is on. Whoppers will be $4. BK Chicken's only $4. Once we get to 70, 60. and uh, that deal at Burger King throughout New Zealand only until next Saturday. 13 to go, Rod. Yeah, It'll be touch it, and go, you think? No, it'll be smashed. <laughs> Absolutely smashed. Van Gerwen will help out there with probably half a dozen to eight himself. And uh, Rob Cross, I, I see over 10 180s in that next semi final. Probably talking five or six in this one. So, uh, and then the final, wow, obviously, will have a few. So, yeah, burgers all round. Well, six starts from here, Barney. Doesn't have to go the bullseye route. Do you know what? That may have done him a favour, Glenn, because goes 11, Easy goes at the bullseye, misses it, messes around. Here, he's got a nice double. Wade, of course, back on 180. Well, that makes it interesting. You know, just going back to that where Barney went for the, he was going for 11. He's going to hit the treble 16. 11 and leaves the double 14, and then splits that. You're talking double seven, three to double two. All of a sudden, that's when you can lose legs. Silly. You know, play the percentages. Leave yourself the nice double that wow. you're used to. I know he prefers 18s or 32, but the double top just as good. And, and it proved right with him missing the big number that time. 59. Michael Van Gerwen, Rob Cross, of course, meet in the second semi final. Looking forward to that match. It just looks a bit steadier, doesn't he, Van Barneveld? Don't know what it is sometimes, Rod, with these players. But he just looks more assured than he has in, uh, in the recent past at the moment. Well, you, you, you've got James Wade always looks tense and tied up. That's all the way he's always been. But Barney, he has to be free. You know, he's got that big, lazy uh, 
swing, you know, action. And he has to stay relaxed. And when he starts to beat himself up, that's when he tightens up. And that's why I think we've seen some of the best darts out of Biden for a few years over the last three weeks, because he's actually been enjoying himself. pressure on Wade here. Remember, Wade has the darts. Go for the doors over this last night. Just a smidgen away, but then Barnevel. Double eight to break the throw. And there it is. Very solid leg of darts there for Murphy V. Well, he is looking very comfortable, isn't he, Roman Van Barnevel? Got a break up, two legs to one up. Just needs to keep James Wade under the cosh. Don't make too many mistakes. As you know, this man is going to jump on every mistake you make. Second 180 of the match. Chance here for Barney, but he needs a 140, doesn't he? It's going to be hard to get it with that dart where it is. Yeah, flights have covered it up. Tight target after the first dart. So Wade can break here, and he's got six darts to do it. It's luxury here for James Wade, and he set that up pretty well, didn't he? Yes, he did, and he could have gone the bullseye route, but uh, no, too important to mess around at this stage of the game and you know how he loves the tops of the tent so he's going to make sure that he's coming at them oh well now now there's a chance it might be a hold of throw but at the moment if barley take this out it'll, it'll feel like a break so he goes for the double 16. 16 out so Wade James will get another chance, but he'll need at least two darts. Double one. Three score. Remember, he was on 40. He was on 40, shooting at a double 20 to break the throw of Van Barneveld. Yes, and when Wade messes about, you've got to pounce on it. It may only be a hold and throw. It will feel like a break. You don't see James Wade mess around too often like that. Oh, it's, yeah. <laughs> As I said, it feels like a break and throw, Barney. Well, James Wade missed six darts in that leg at a double. Six. Yeah, Wade does not do that too often. And now it's a, just a sign. This is where Six you minutes. think, right, I know it's a break of throw. For, let me find a 12 dart leg and get complete control in this match. How hard is it, Ron, when you, when you do have a double 20 to check out and you get into that kind of cycle, which Wade got into then how hard is it to get it out of your mind when you when you're standing up just a few seconds later in the next leg sometimes it's very hard and we see so often with players that they go and lose the next leg as quick as any before they've really got it out of their head phil taylor was an absolute expert um if he lost a leg that he should have won it, it didn't matter he just it, all he could do was look forward eric bristow was the same uh, our old mate Dennis Priestley was good at it as well in his day. I suppose we all were. But it is very hard at times, especially when your form, you're trying to find that reach Vader form, uh, which both these players are. They're playing, both of them playing well, but they're not playing at the top of their game. And they, they're trying to find that. And that's when it can hurt you. you know, the knockbacks can be, you get further knocked back than you go forward with a good leg. 
away, doing a reasonable job here. Especially Van Barneveld couldn't find a treble. Again, Wade's going to have at least six darts here. 88. He won't want to waste those six again. James require for like he did in the last leg. Oh, no, it's going the same way. Wow. Well, yeah, that's unusual when Wade does it, as I said in the previous leg. Well, we look at the 57 here, treble 19. Oh, now a 16 or a treble 16. That leaves a ball. This will be hurtful. 98. James require 10. Now, Wade. Yes, James he's got it right this time. Bear. That will be hugely James relieving James for James Wade. Raymond to throw first. Game on. Van Barneveld still up a break. In the race to eight. One run and 37. from Barney keeping the pressure on one run nice start there from, from Wade so neck for neck in this league so far one, one of those I was just thinking would be very nice and that's exactly what Barneveld has done Yeah, yeah, what a super leg this is from Barneveld. Nine darts thrown, what's the 84? Now see, yeah, he's thinking, will James Wade take out the 164? Don't give him a don't give him a chuck at it. Well, he's gonna give him a chuck at it. 52. That's the time when James he Reed should have gone 14 ball. Uh, because you know, these players, okay, this is a one and a fifty shot. Uh, but sometimes that's what hurts you. In the end, no harm done for Van Barneveld as he looks to preserve this one break lead. Darts here at a double 16. Game That's unlucky for Raymond Van Barneveld. He's in the box seat in this first semi final. After six legs, it's the Dutchman in front, four to two. Raymond Van Barneveld has the edge halfway through this first semi-final, four to two. Slight average there for advantage for him in the checkouts, the doubles. That's where the big difference is. 44% Wade, 20, and uh, Wade is two from 10 in this match. Of course, five of those missed chances, in fact, came in that fourth leg. Where he really should have broken. Had a crack at double tops and then singled all the way to double one, didn't he? Which, uh, certainly taking the scenic route. Yeah, the ironic thing about James Wade's doubles is it's the double top and tens that have been the, the problem for him. First leg, he took out the double eight nice and cleanly. But uh, now he's chasing Barney. Well, it's always easier to lead than chase. And Wade, very important leg here. He can't afford to let Barney take another break and go in three of a final place. And so some hard work to do here from James Wade. partner is happy and rightly happy the job's not done yet oh no far from it he cannot start to lose concentration because he knows 
you know, Wade in his first round match was looked dead and buried. Rolls off three legs on the trot, 116, 140 checkouts, then throws a 13 dart leg to close it out to win 6 5. So, uh, this man knows how to get over the line in a tough way. Double nine to in the red. Just get the feeling though, Barney is, is on song in this match. 12 dart leg, feeling good about himself at the moment, Barney. And what have you been thinking now? A hold of throw. Puts him one foot firmly in the door for the final place in his final year. Heading for retirement is the big Dutchman. And the ironic thing is that this trip, as I've said it so many times, he has looked so good. He's played some of the best darts he's played for possibly two years. And it's because he's got a smile on his face. He's comfortable. He's relaxed. It's actually a nice world to be in, Mr. Barnabelt. One round of Fulton. One hundred. Oh, this is going to give Wade the first opportunity to check out here. I need to travel, though. One hundred. That was a great last start. I mean, when the camera angle said he couldn't get it there, but he just pitched <laughs> it over the top. He put some swing on it, Rod. <laughs> wow. Wow. Just like the Aussie bowlers have been doing at us Englishmen. Well, you had to mention the cricket, didn't you? Oh, this is brilliant from Wade. Oh, yes, 121. That's the highest check out easily in this match. Very nice. And he knows it. Yeah, and as we, I know probably viewers get fed up with saying the bad James Wade, but that is a typical Wade leg, you know, back up against the ropes, ready to get the sucker punch that knocks you out, and he just pulls it out again and again as he did in that first round match. Probably does it more than any other player in the game, even the, the, the great Michael Van Gerwen. there as he looks to consolidate that break that he achieved in the eighth league 60. Just starting to edge back at Barnavelt, isn't he? Yeah, I agree. 96, James require 91. Particularly if he nails this check out here. Triple 18. Oh, well, that's hard lucky. Just a little bit less of the target. Right, we require 145. Well, this would be hurtful. Oh, and he wants double top. Just on the low side. Wade can't blow this opportunity here. And he has Very nice. It just shows you the importance of those doubles. Very small margins. Yep, Barney just touching that bottom wire, but Wade just steps up, takes it out. But Barney, it shouldn't be panicking. He's still got that break you know in the lockup well, what Wade seems to be on a, a bit of a run here and Barney's got to find some big scores just to stop him Wade up to 95 in the averages it's a good comeback good with 
these last two dives from the way. Just leaving that one five six is one of these famous favourite checkouts. And he's going to get six darts from here as well, so just stay straight. Oh, he's found the all important first treble. Beautiful setup. 12 darts thrown, just double eight on your throw. You don't lose too many when it comes to those sort of darts. So this for a six ball lead. Bonneville two points away from reaching the final for the second straight year. He's a good record, Van Barneveld, in semi-finals on the World Series. This is his eighth, and he's won four of them to this point. He's never won a title, never gone on and won a title. Well, I think the closest he came was here in Auckland against Adrian Lewis when they both missed darts to win. I think they went down to double one in the final leg, uh, which was incredible because it was an incredible game and then to get down to the nitty gritty and both of them all over the place. But uh, five darts and a double. Barney had to win that, but it was Lewis who walked away with the title. Last three darts from Wade were brilliant. Done. 96, James Reed, 50. Ten score. That's okay. As strange as it may sound with Van Barneveld back on 205. Well, it was better that Wade missed above. Mm, exactly. Yeah. Well, right Don't want to miss now, though. Definitely not. Game shot here, James, James Wade. James Wade. Well, he needs to find a break. As we close on towards the end of this match. Sixty. Well, it didn't get punished on that opening three darts. One on. Wade needs a big score here. That's his first triple of this leg. Follows it up with another good effort. Just edges in front, Wade. Just yeah. waiting to pounce if Barney has a bad visit. 98. Could have been better, couldn't it? Yeah, it's not too bad, though. It just keeps him in front. Three trebles will be very nice if you're a Wade fan. One runner, 38. Well, he's left himself a check out. He's missed. And it hasn't left him a check out right. Very costly. Absolutely. Very costly. I mean, why? Well, it hasn't been punished that much. So, Barney. I mean, obviously, he don't want a straight ton. He wants a 99 to leave the straight ton. And he's not going to do that. Well, two very weak throws from Barneveld has opened the door up for Wade to level it up. Look at treble 17, leaves the double 18. 18's now. 60. I'd stay, I'd stay there, Glenn. Oh. Oh, double 20 for a sensational finish! Where did that come from? Six pole dash from Bonneville. But he finds the 154. I expected him to stay on that treble 20 because it looked such a good uh, lay dart. 
And it's one of the best checkouts of the tournament. 164, Van Gerwen has the highest. What a time to do it at all, oh, Glenn. You now know, he's throwing for the match. Well, he's not throwing for the match, but he's on match point, isn't he? Absolutely. It couldn't have come at a worse no, time for James it. Wade. Yes, and James Wade has a bit of a... He's got the semi-final wall up again, hasn't he? He can't climb over it. This is his 18th semi-final on the World Series, wow. James Wade. He's only ever won three. Yeah, not a record you want to be told about too often. Barney can see the winning line now just needs to stay focused 31. pushed his average up to just over the 98 only won 180 in the match but 14 Season. 140s again a good 140 count from Bonneville all around the world and set this one up nicely yes perfect oh he certainly has may get two darts at double eight at double four sorry but at least one dart at a double to make a final once again van barneveld has the match in his hands 16 and a double double 16 here we go well, Wade comes back. James Reguire, 82. Wade to stay alive in the match. Double 20. 62. She was. The door is wide open for Barney. And his last visit in Auckland. And in New Zealand, he'll play in the final. Raymond Van Barneveld, back-to-back -back finals in New Zealand. What that, uh, 154 check out in the previous leg, sensational. So Raymond Van Barneveld through to the final here in Hamilton. And he'll play the winner of the next match, which is coming up shortly between Michael Van Gerwen and Rob Cross. It is Van Barneveld winning 8-5. The dream run of Raymond Van Barneveld continues at the New Zealand Dart Smarters. The darts are flying and so is he. And he dispatches one of the favourites in the form of James Wade, the reigning World Series Darts champion. Rod Harrington will take a look at the numbers and what a match. That 154 checkup. Wow. And what a time to do it. I mean, James Wade missed tops early on. Barney nicks that leg to go uh, a break up. And then carries on, keeps in front. Wade is chasing all the way. And then just when Wade thought he was going to get back at him, Barney takes out that 154 and puts one foot in the final and then closes it out to put both feet. And so he's back in the winner's circle. Here's Barney. Barney, very happy to keep meeting like this. <laughs> We're seeing some fight from you out there. I know, only one 180, but 15 Tom 40s or something. Uh, hmm. And every time. Uh, I could finish, I, I hit it, you know, um, yeah, extremely happy, of course, uh, for a crowd like this, uh, New Zealand, for me, it, it's, it's like Rotterdam in, in Holland, wow, uh, what a support I get here, what a wonderful crowd and amazing people, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really happy to be in the final, I know, I know this is a gift from the PDC, you know, to, to got me in this World Series, I'm, I'm really thankful for this. Uh, you have to prove, you know, um, you travel uh, all the way down, down to Australia, New Zealand, so you have to uh, <laughs> handle with, 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 with the travel of things and, 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 and um, the jet lag and all. But uh, I'm, I feel fit, I feel comfortable, I feel good. Um, but at the end, I'm really happy. I'm satisfied uh, the way I'm playing right now. 
I take my chances, and that's the way you should be. You know, um, sometimes you don't have to play like like 106 average. What do you want earlier? You know, 103 average and lose, or an 83 average and win. Uh, I prefer option two. Hmm. James got out to a you know a reasonable start, and um, sorry, you got out to a good start. He came back at you, yeah. one five four, to go yeah. seven five. What a check out! Yeah, that, that was an amazing check out. You know, uh, I missed one earlier, I think, on on top, so that was sixteen, uh, a big one, and and that that came out of the blue. You know, that that, that was that was an amazing finish, and uh, that, that, uh, he was he was still battling. He he's a, an amazing player. You know. I know James for years, and, and every time he, he's back, he's there. He's always there. He never give in. He, he, he's, he's always give his best fight. Um, when I felt comfortable, I uh, said, Ray, keep your own legs, and then you're going to win this. You know, the, the break was really important, 2-4. Uh, I went down, and I said, come on, ju just keep your own legs, and win your own legs, and then, then you're going to do this. We're looking forward to your last dance on the stage in New Zealand, Barney. All the very best. New Zealand is good to me. A couple of finals here, and, and maybe now I, I can win finally a World Series. <laughs> it will be good. <laughs> and if Raymond van Barneveld does win, he will certainly have the crowd on his side. They are going off. The Barney Army has turned into 4,000. 8-5 the win. But look at what is next.